Hey, how's it going? Rich Lee here, and today it's time for the 16th episode in Season 3 of my Real Madrid career mode series. And today we're coming off against Benfica in the Champions League, and something kind of weird has happened. I think the Copper America must be on at the moment because all my South American players are unavailable. Neymar's not available, Di Maria's not available, Messi, James Rodriguez, or David Luiz. Nor Luis Suarez, but you can see that he is in the squad. I had to get the game to auto fix it for me because I couldn't actually name enough substitutes to field a team basically. And if I try and put Luis Suarez into the team, you can see that he's away on international duty and can't be placed in the lineup. So something's gone horribly wrong with the game. Too many players are away. I can't actually name a full team. And Jujeji's having to play up front today because I don't have enough players basically. Right, I'm going to go straight to the bench and see if Luis Suarez is on there. He is, so he should be available as a substitute, even though he's supposed to be on a way on international duty. I'll give that a try. Yeah, he can be put into the team, even though he's currently in South America. That's slightly broken. All right, someone get your head on that. Let's get our heads on that. Ooh, that was close. Royce is on this. Gonna play it up to Jujeji. He's gonna move it to Ronaldo. That's a nice ball through there from Jujeji. He was previously playing for Middlesbrough, now he's assisting Ronaldo in the Champions League, and Ronaldo's got himself a penalty. And I'm going to hand the penalty to Djeji to see if the former Middlesbrough man can now score in the Champions League. Can he get a goal? Yes, he can. Djeji puts us 1-0 up against Benfica. They're playing well at the moment, Benfica. Oh, get onto that. Oh, that's a good goal. Well-worked goal. And Benfica right back in the game at 1-1. Right, though, Ronaldo's on this. Plays it to Jose Rodriguez. What's he going to do? Can't do anything, because that's a half-time whistle. And we go into half-time at 1-1. I'm not too displeased with that because obviously we're missing a lot of players today. Which doesn't make things particularly easy. But a 1-1 draw at half-time against Benfica away isn't too bad. Good challenge from Bale there. He's getting onto it again. Oh, could have got a second yellow there. Is he going to get a second yellow? I think he is. Bale has just got sent off in the Champions League last 16. What an idiot. And that is the final whistle. We've drawn that game 1-1, which frankly isn't good enough. And Sergio Aguero has just told me that he's disappointed that he never made the squad last game. Mate, you're away on international duty. How am I supposed to select you? For the next game then, we're at home to Valencia. And I'll show you the team. I've got Luis Suarez up front, Ronaldo on the left wing, Messi at centre forward, Jesse Rodriguez on the right wing, Di Maria and Pogba through the middle. Then at the back, I've got Alaba, Varane, Ramos and De Chiglio with David De Gea in goal. Right though, get onto that Hesse, well done. And now Pogba's on the ball here, moves it off to De Chiglio. He looks up, plays it down the line. That's a nice ball there, it's through to Hesse Rodriguez. He's going through on goal. What can we do here? Can we go 1-0 up through Hesse? He, he's still got the ball, he's gonna cross it in. Is anyone gonna get there? Yes they are, Ronaldo gets onto that. It was pretty much in the goal when he headed it and we've gone 1-0 up. I'm not quite sure why the keeper didn't try and go for that. He just kind of ignored it and allowed Ronaldo to float in and score that first goal. Right, get your head on that, mate. Oh, no, they've scored. Wilfred Bonny scored and put them back in the game at 1-1. I'm not too sure how my player didn't get onto that, but Bonny put a good header in anyway, and he's made it 1-1. Don't let him get a cross in. That's nice. The way he took it around me was good there, and they're going to go 2-1 up. Bonnie is a real thorn in my side today. He's got two headed goals now, and that is the half-time whistle. We're losing 2-1 at half-time to two Wilfred Bonnie power headers. And Neymar's on for the second half to replace Hesse Rodriguez because he's not done a lot that first half. So Neymar, I'm expecting big things from him. He needs to get us back in this game. Ronaldo's not been cutting it today. Messi hasn't been cutting it either. Now we're going to see if Neymar can make a difference. Oh no, but as I say that, they're going 3-1 up. What is going on today? Di Maria moves it up to Ronaldo. He plays it up towards Suarez. Come on, Suarez. Make it 3-2, please, man. Make it 3-2, please, man. He turns inside with it. And we've got a corner. Have we? No, we've got a penalty. What was that for? All right, that makes things interesting, though. Let's see that decision. They kind of sandwiched him. I don't agree with the penalty decision, though. I don't think that was a penalty. Right, though, can Ronaldo convert the spot kick? I reckon he can, you know. But we've not been playing well today. But it doesn't matter. It's 3 2. Make this equaliser happen, Neymar. He's moving inside, moves past his man. He's into the box. Get the equaliser. Why have you kicked it straight at the keeper? Wrong with it, Ronaldo. Let's see if we can get an equaliser late on. Can we get an equaliser through Ronaldo? He turns with it, cuts inside with it. Can he get an equaliser? Oh, I thought that was the moment. But it's gone wide, and we've lost the game 3-2. For the final game of the episode, then, we're up against Salta Vigo, and I'll show you the team. I've made a couple of changes. I've got Aguero up front, Ronaldo on the left wing, Messi at centre forward, Neymar on the right, Di Maria and James Rodriguez through the middle, 
Then at the back, we've got Alaba, Varane, Zuma and De Shiglio with David De Gea in goal. Nice ball inside. Ah, oh, they're turning around us nicely there. And they've made us look completely foolish. Completely foolish. We've been completely dumb. And they've messed up the chance. Oh, that's nice. They're playing some good football at the moment. Don't let them through. Good save, De Gea. Now let's get rid of that. Get rid of that, lads. Oh, what? How is that a penalty? Let's see the replay of that. I don't actually know what happened. Varane got tripped up and flew into their player. That is so unlucky. Right, I'm just going to stay in the middle. I'm not going to move. And Johansson's going to mess this up. And that is the half-time whistle. It's nil-nil at half-time. They had a chance to go 1-0 up through a penalty right at the end of the half. But they messed it up. And I think justice was served in the missing that penalty. Because I don't think it was deserved at all. What can Messi do here? Plays a nice ball across there to Pogba. He moves it out to James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez cuts inside with it. He's going to finesse that into the corner. Oh, what a goal. Beautiful finesse shot there. When I decided to finesse that, I definitely wasn't expecting a goal that good. Just out of reach of the goalkeeper. And it puts us 1-0 up. What a goal from James Rodriguez there. Beautifully taken. 1-0. They brought on Bergui, the former Real Madrid player. I sold him in season one, I think it was. He wasn't very good. But they've brought him on and he'll probably score against me now. Oh, that's a nice through ball there to Bergui. Sure enough, he scored. Oh, no, I knew that was going to happen. Former Real Madrid player Bergui has scored the equaliser there. Well, it's nearly the full-time whistle. We just brought on Suarez and Royce trying to find that winner. Can we do it? I don't know. Probably not. We've not played well today in any of these games. So I don't think we're going to pick up any wins today. But I'm going for it anyway with Royce and Suarez now on the pitch. And Ronaldo's running through here. Can he score? Come on, Ronaldo. Good save there from the keeper. And he's got rid of it. Can we get ahead on that? Yes, we can. Hit that, Suarez. Hit that. Oh, it's hit the bar. We're just not going to make a breakthrough today, are we? We're just completely unlucky. Nothing's going for us. Right, what can Royce do here? Nothing, because that's the final whistle, and we've drawn that game 1-1. And after some pathetic results that episode, you can see that we're now only eight points in front of Barcelona, and we've got to travel to the new Camp next episode, so that could be a very interesting clash. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.